moving to oneness. Nourishing curiosity. Embracing differences. Becoming one. wind is gushing outdoors. You may hear it as it hits the walls, the roof during this episode. So it's going to be a lively one. The wind is shaking us a little bit, creating a speed. It's really strong. It has been like this yesterday, today, and will stay a little bit. But that's the sign of the time. So everyone, welcome to the Moving to Oneness podcast. I'm Mylene, your host. And yeah, so whatever you desire, move on to it. Do it, create it, plan it if you're a planner. Get the materials you need for it. Go search for them and set it into existence. Because if you have that thought, implemented. It's for you to do and others are just waiting for it and that you have put that certain touch on it that only you can provide. You have the understanding, you have the different viewpoint on it that is so important. Yeah and at the same time just as I hit the record button today I'm sitting in the living room looking outdoors. The sun was peeking through giving like a little creative oomph to you, yeah? And the birds were singing, so there's a celebration of this wind. They love it. It's like a party, right? And unpredictable. If I look at the branches outdoors, they go in all directions. There are gushes of wind. And then there is the Elster. Oh, I forgot the name in English. It's a black and white. It has a little bit of blue on its side wings long black tail, and it's a bird that stands for abundance. And he's flying around, sitting around, and there's the second one. So this is beautiful. This means what you're creating is bringing you what you desire, what is needed, and it will bring riches, riches of thought, riches of creativity, riches of activity, monetary riches. It will enrich you, right? So this is what is coming. And because we're moving into February, that has also the love in it, right? You're bringing so much love to your creations now, more than ever before. Because why? Because you're moving also in to your being fully, who you are, right? We spoke almost a year and a half about this topic to take the time to have looked at oneself, at yourself, as us self, as myself, <laughs> and it's done. You have now a better understanding of why you're here on this earth and what to create. So also fear just falls off. You know, there's maybe a little uncertainty, but it's not a fear. There's a different feeling and energy to it. Yeah? And then, also at this time is happening, right? The tiger, the year of the tiger. <laughs> That's a good song, I can't sing it anymore. The uh, Rocky theme comes right into my head. Yeah, where you put a little strength, effort into something, you know, and it's like he runs up those long staircase. Where is it? In Philadelphia, I think. And he's happy that that he's able to run all the way up. And you have that endurance now. You have built up the strengths now for decades. A younger generation, they're lucky they didn't have to do all that build up and shedding. But we did, most of us that are a little older. <laughs> but we're a little older, but we have still a long way to go. That is important. We were in the, we are, or were, 
have been and it still will be a little bit the uh, the ones that lay the path that go through the jungle hitting down everything or yeah or preparing it a little bit so that it's easier for others to walk the path and and follow and they don't have so much resistance or have to use up too much strength and they can concentrate uh, their effort and their energy of producing what is needed yeah and and the tiger you know this huge animal so soft beautiful and fascinating structure of the fur right how it looks like how it can blend in many of us have tiny tigers <laughs> at home i have one at the moment it's just looking at me ah, and there came the meow recognizing that we're speaking about the feline species look at him he walks right into the sun that he just found and they have the surety of waiting and then they start moving forward the prey when they desire otherwise they just enjoy life or they hang or sleep and rest depending on what if it's a solo liver right solo liver that's <laughs> Sounds like the liver. So do take care of your liver. Talking about that, right? That your body is nourished well. Yeah, that your body is nourished well so that your liver functions optimal. That your body doesn't have to spend extra energy on itself. So cats, again, are a good example of that. They rest when there's not an importance and if there, it gets important to use your energy to do it. And I invite you also in your life when you create now these beautiful things that you are envisioning or you set your intention on, follow your impulses, follow your body's uh, signs, when to work on it and when not. And when not, to relax fully and enjoy yourself and replenish, nourish yourself beautiful and the interesting thing isn't also the year of water or the fluidity becomes interesting and a tiger is the cat that doesn't mind going into water here and there there may be a house cat <laughs> feline cartus <laughs> that won't mind you know walking through water but most don't like it so that means again talking about fear look at that you are less fearful this year. This is fascinating because we've trained or have been trained to feel fearful and so much attention was put on to fear, right? Where do we put our intention on? If the intention is always put on fear so others in a way can sell better their stuff or material or, or work or services or products, then we concentrate on that within us. So I think this is going to shift now. People will notice to talk more about what things and services bring us and maybe think about that if that's the right way for you to go as well, to concentrate on the positive, what it brings, right? We're creators. We, there's something new. The, 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 the fearness comes a little bit still from maybe the industrial age, the conquerors, and this is to solving. We're becoming more fluid. There's less rigid structure. And so that's going to be fun, 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 fun. And I'll sing a song for that later too. To move with your own rhythm, to be in your own flow, to be more fluid. <laughs> and with the last thank you water fluidity fluid beings supporting us two doves the light doves we call them Turkish dove just sat down and are telling you that's going to be peaceful year too if you more in your fluidness and uh, go with the flow, 
find new form, transform into new form and have fun with it and explore it. I think already those water sounds, they didn't have wanted to wait <laughs> until the end of the show. They wanted to just pop in and uh, bring you this liveliness that is within you. And in a way that we have a celebration too, for me, you know, I recorded with Denise, who started out with me creating this podcast, Moving to Oneness, without her and her encouragement and being in my presence and throwing back ideas back and forth, right? That's what you say. This would have not really come in creation the way it did. And I'm really, really happy she was there in uh, that time of my life. And we did for almost a year work together until her mother didn't uh, feel so well anymore and she became a caregiver similar to what I'm doing myself at the moment and then now she created her own so go look for her uh, she's doing beautiful work as a life architect yeah so and I remember on the 2nd of February there was a total drive for me to get the first episode of our podcast out into the world and we had set the date 2nd February 2020 and I practiced with the software I'm using now like Ultrashire, some German guys, fantastic guys putting out this software for free for the world. I think it's amazing and it's a very high quality editing program. Thank you, thank you, thank you. But I had to learn it. But that day, I remember we recorded it and I was cutting and I had problems and I couldn't hear it. And I have to thank again, there's a whole podcasting group here in Germany. Uh, there is a, a portal called a platform, a Sendigate. And I just wrote in, oh my God, I'm stuck. I need help. I, I want to get my first episode live today and I can't hear, I can't finish editing. And <laughs> some guy wrote back, I'm in the middle of the underground. I'll be home in 45 minutes and I'll give you a call and help you. And he did. And we got together and he helped me through. And I don't know, 20 min minutes before midnight in German time, I was able to put my podcast episode onto YouTube at that time. And so that was our soft start into podcasting. And I think then in uh, 18th of August, right? When Apple, I loaded it all up to Apple. Then there's the next big step. In the meantime, we had several episodes started. And what a journey, what a journey, what a journey. So... Do come and celebrate with me. I'm going to do it at a six o'clock my time here in Germany. That is noon Eastern time in the US. Wherever you are, I know you have people from around the world. And um, I'll put a link in the Moving to Oneness Facebook group and also into uh, this episode. So you can join in if you want to celebrate with me. So I can he hear you. This is really um, important uh, for me. So always feel free also to write me, mylene at movingtooneness.com with ideas or topics you want maybe wisdom about or a song about. So I'm open to this because I'm creating this for you to support you in becoming you and, and feeling your vastness how all of you is important and how beautifully we're connected to anything that exists. And this is going to be a fantastic year anyway, where you, I, all of us will sense it and it will be so easy to go with it, or to flow with it, to move with it, to get into this rotation or spiral movement of a creation, right? I just sense it. And for many of you, it feels like you're opening up to taking a little bit more work onto you, or I don't want to call it work, but you're creating a little bit more than usual. And the interesting thing, you won't feel overwhelmed. You just know you have to do it, so you're going to do it. And again, in your own tempo, 
So this is also, it's providing strength. It, it provides like a self-awareness of, wow. <laughs> and again, with this love and with this getting back of that tiger, there is a certainty when he puts a foot and there's a big imprint and it's a big foot. Yeah, <laughs> Like he's going to put that with a surety and a leisureness. He's just going to put that foot, that paw down and then the next paw and look around or rest. And this is a, a beautiful atmosphere. I don't know if you can feel it as I can at the moment. Go into it and uh, think about it. Are you living it now or have you? And maybe you didn't notice, but notice how you're also changing a little bit. And your family members or your friends, yeah, or how the world outside is reacting to you. And that puts a smile on my face. Maybe it puts a smile onto your face and that's another dove just came. <laughs> They're not coming to eat. They're really here to be in this presence of you, of us all. And they're looking right at me. Beautiful. Also, this one is now looking right at me. This softness. Again, there is this surety and, and recognition of one of each other. The understanding. I understand what you're doing and thank you. And keep on going and I'm here for you. So, there was now <laughs> the dove, pigeon. Wow, well, I did. But everyone out there is the same. So she's a symbol of it. Of this freedom to fly, to play with the wind, and to play with many others, and to be playful and relaxed. And as the cat, right? They also play with everything when they can. I invite you to do that. I'm going to do that too. Let's all do that together. So thank you very much for being part of the Moving to Oneness a podcast of bringing your energy into here, to bring your wisdom into, to, for your emails, for your responses and your ideas. And I, I really thank you very, very deeply. And connect with me also if you want to be guided. You know, I had many uh, guidance episodes recently but please reach out i'm here for you and together we're creating beauty magic and with such a loving way and i love that so thank you for listening to the moving to oneness podcast i'm mylene your host and sending you a lot of love. bye, -bye.